At 11 o'clock in the morning, the killer arrived at the scene of the crime. The president's murderer wasn't a sniper, soldier, or professional assassin. He was an actor. John Wilkes Booth was 26 years old when he shot Abraham Lincoln. Booth was a well-known figure on the American stage, renowned as much for his stage fighting as his handsome face. His father and brother were the most famous actors in America. The Booth family was theater royalty. On the morning of April 14th, uh, Booth is picking up his mail at Ford's Theater, which he uh, occasionally did. He was a frequent performer there, and the owner of the theater knew him. The president is coming tonight. Prepare the state box. In an instant, a nebulous plan to avenge the South snaps into focus. I don't think Southerners ever really anticipated a loss. And so when the South did lose, uh, there were people who were inconsolable. And of course, Lincoln was at the center of that. He believed that he had one last chance to save the South, and that was to assassinate Abraham Lincoln. While Lincoln met with his cabinet, John Wilkes Booth cased the presidential box at Ford's theater. And of course, a clock was ticking on the fate of the South. If something was to be done to help the South, it needed to be done immediately. So this was a, a grand confluence of moment and occasion. He cannot take away my way of life. I will lose my boarding house. What More than a year earlier, in the summer of 1864, Booth was plotting to kidnap the president. We trade him for our brothers. We take him. He thought that the South's chances of winning would be improved if he could capture the president and take him as a hostage to Richmond. Perhaps Booth's bold plan was an attempt to assuage his guilt for taking refuge in the safety of the theater, while half a million Southerners died on the battlefield. He felt like a coward. He personally said to his mother that, you know, I, I, I'm a coward. I play a hero, you know, but I just act one. I'm not a real one. And he sat there watching history be made by other young men his age. It was a torment to him. But by the time of Lincoln's second inauguration, kidnapping wouldn't have helped the collapsing South. Booth was in the crowd to see Lincoln sworn in on March 4th, 1865. In his speech, the president condemned the evils of slavery. Booth believed in slavery, and he did not want to see the world change, and that infuriated him. On the morning of April 14th, Booth realizes he has a perfect chance to strike a last-ditch blow for the Confederacy, not to kidnap, but to kill. <laughs> 